What's going on guys, John Santos here, and if you're looking to build your brand or expand your business, chances are you'll need to be sourcing from manufacturers to fulfill the orders that you can't find in your own backyard. Or maybe the products that you want to make can be best made with a supplier that's located overseas, and they have the right tooling and expertise to accomplish it to the high standards that you expect. In this video, I want to cover three things that you need to know before sourcing from Alibaba.com, who is a sponsor of this video. For those of you who haven't heard of Alibaba.com before, it is an online marketplace with thousands of manufacturers located all over the world. Now you can find literally almost anything on this marketplace, from tattoo equipment to farm equipment and everything in between, including apparel and accessories for clothing brands. With so many suppliers to choose from, one of the biggest hurdles you'll have is knowing who to trust and who can actually fulfill your orders correctly. You see, Alibaba.com makes it possible for almost anybody to register as a service provider and get paid. And sometimes this means that you aren't dealing directly with the manufacturer, but you're dealing with the middleman who lists services from the context he has made in that country. Now, when this happens, communication may be delayed, prices may be higher, and your order may not be made right. Now, another thing that frequently happens is that the supplier will ask you to send payment outside of the platform, through a wire transfer, for instance. With so many risks involved with sourcing online, you're probably wondering if this is something you should even take on. So instead of dwelling on what could go wrong, in this video, I wanna share three tips that will change the way you source on this platform to help you better position yourself for success. So let's jump into the first one, and that is finding quality products and suppliers. When it comes to sourcing from Alibaba.com, they have literally thousands of listings available from any product category. Now, let's dive into the first point here, which is narrowing down what you're looking for. Now, let's say you're looking for a product, right? So let's go through and say, we're looking for cargo pants. Maybe you wanna make a, your own custom cargo pants with your own branding, labeling, maybe some custom features there. What you're gonna do is look that up first. And as you look that up, you'll see that there are literally thousands if not hundreds of pages available and ever ending list. So you may be wondering, where do I begin? Where does my sourcing journey take me? Now the sourcing journey will begin with you narrowing down with some of these filtering tools. So now that we have the trade assurance and verified, you can see that there is a little bit of a lower list available for you to choose from, 29 pages instead of 100, but you could verify it a little bit more. So let's say you have a certain country that you wanna do business with or you know that there needs to be certifications for those factories. This is where you could select the different certifications and it'll begin to narrow down the list a little bit further for you. Let's say you wanna narrow it down with where they can export to. So if you're living in the United States, you need to know that the supplier you wanna do business with can also ship to your country. And that narrows it down a little bit more from four, five pages to two. So now that you've narrowed down your list from the country to the supplier type that you wanna register, trade assurance, verified supplier, the next thing you wanna do is start going through some of these transactions. Now these little tabs here is what says if they're verified, if they're trade assurance, and their rating as a supplier. Now this is all important information as the higher the rating, the better the communication as well as the delivery may be. But at the same time, you wanna just click around here and take a look at the supplier. Now, what I wanna show you guys is if you're looking for cargo pants, in this example, we're gonna be going to this supplier, you could see that they have a variety of t-shirts, jackets, pants, so maybe this supplier will be able to work with you. Now you may be wondering, well, how do I confirm that they'll be able to customize something? Now for that, you go over to the company overview page and in the company overview page, what you'll find is that this is a verified supplier, manufacturer, and a trading company. Now remember a trading company and a manufacturer, they may or may not be the same thing. A trading company may have the ability to export and a manufacturer just has the ability to make products. But when they're a manufacturer and trading company, that means that they have a little bit better logistics and they could export to your country. So chances are you'll have a better chance of doing good business with these types of companies versus others that don't have this option. Once you go over to this, this is the business information that you're really looking for. Uh, the main products is garments, hoodies, jogger pants. You can see the total employees, production capability, product capacity. They can do knitting, cutting, sewing, ironing, and inspection packing, and all of these things have been verified by 
Alibaba or a third party team. Everything that you need to know if your product is gonna be made right. It's important to know how many years they've been doing business, the size of their company, as well as employees, and any of the equipment that they might have to make the products that you need. Now, another key thing to look into is a company profile. Now, in the company profile, you want to look up their address. Now, in the address, it'll really tell you what part of the country they're located at, and if they're located in an office building that is not a manufacturing facility, you may be dealing with middlemen versus the manufacturer itself. And in that case, the communication can be delayed, you might get higher price quotes, or you may not get the product that you're looking for. Now, if the location and address that you look up is somewhere more inland, away from the ports that are gonna ship your products, chances are you may be paying more for shipping. So that's also something that you gotta take into account as you're doing your preliminary research. Which really brings us into the second Second point and that's legit checking your factories and making sure that you're gonna get the products that you need now it's easy for anyone to send you photos of any product that you're looking to buy from them they can easily take those photos have them available send them to you and say yes this is what I can make for you but it's completely different when somebody actually gives you a tour of their facility so the very first tip here is to make sure that you guys set up a call set up a call with the person that you're speaking to to actually do a video call during the operating hours that they're doing business now you got to keep in mind the different time differences guys if you're you're calling and you want to get somebody on the phone at 10 a.m. their time but they're overseas chances are you need to get on the call at the night time or closer to midnight to really get them at the time that you're looking for but either way you're gonna need to do that due diligence to ensure that you're dealing directly with the manufacturer if they say they are a manufacturer and if they can't do that or if they give you excuses as to why they can't then this is a red flag that you need to consider as you go down the sourcing stage now Alibaba.com also has something called a 3d showroom now a 3d showroom is is essentially available for any company that's been verified. You can actually take a tour of their facility. You can see the showroom that they have available as well as the offices. This helps you verify if you're dealing with real people or if it's simply a middleman. They also have photos available down here, which have all been verified. Kind of give you an insight into their manufacturing facility. This truly gives you guys some insight into the working conditions as well as what they may have to offer. You can see the different products that they make as well as the equipment that they have available for that. To really show you if they're doing things in-house or if they have to source some stuff out. Now, a really cool feature during Super September is the live feature that's available for suppliers on the platform. Now to go live and actually check out what is happening with them, they set up a live event and now you can actually see what it is that they're creating. You can ask your questions there, they can showcase certain products and you can really get to see it and almost as if you're there with that supplier and they're communicating with you guys with any of the questions that you may have about the products that you're looking to buy. During the Super September event, this is a huge push, but you're also available to chat or email with them through the Alibaba messaging platform. So make sure you guys check out those details through the links down below. Now, before placing your orders for the products that you're looking to get, another key thing that you want to look for is trade assurance. And trade assurance is available by Alibaba.com, which protects the orders that you create on their platform. So if there's any discrepancies on the quality of the product that you receive, or if there's any shipping delays, the trade assurance allows you to work with Alibaba to either get a refund or make your order right. The best part about trade assurance is that it's available through the suppliers that enroll with it. Always make sure you're looking at trade assurance for the suppliers that you're doing business with to help you keep your order safe. And what's key about this part is that you want to make sure that all the communication happens on the Alibaba platform. So this means that you want to send all the messaging, anything related to the order directly on the messaging system for Alibaba. You don't want to be doing any other side emails or text messages. You want to keep all the information streamlined because in the case that something goes wrong, Alibaba is going to be looking at what was actually communicated on the Alibaba platform and any proof that you have will be submitted through there. Now what's key about the ordering process Process, even if you have trade assurance guys is that you want to be overly communicative on what it is that your needs are now this means that you want to send photos that you want to send examples you want to get detailed with tech packs anything that will help you make the product right the first time especially as you're receiving the samples because if you're overly communicative with a supplier they'll at least know what level of detail they need to go into on your product if you're just like hey just send me that I want that in blue and they're gonna send you something in blue and it can be any blue and then you're just wondering like why didn't they get the right color blue? 
And it's because you didn't put that initial research and that initial time to really give them what it was that you wanted. So in summary, in order to make sure that trade assurance is on your side, it's gonna be important that you guys keep all of the messaging on the platform as well as the payments. That way you can ensure that Alibaba.com is able to help handle any disputes or issues that you may have with an order that is delayed or perhaps doesn't come into specs. So by now you guys are probably wondering, all right, now we got all the information that we needed on vetting suppliers, looking for quality products, which really brings us into our last point, And that is essentially figuring out the logistics of the orders that you're gonna place. Now, when it comes to communicating with a supplier for samples, it's pretty straightforward. They're either gonna be billing you directly to ship the product to your address, or they're gonna be asking you for your shipping account information. And a shipping account information can be established by establishing your business entity in your country. We have videos of that. We're gonna link in the description down below to really help you guys navigate that process. So the sampling process comes a little bit simpler. When it comes to actually approving that sample, once you receive it, you wanna make sure that you're giving that detailed feedback. Giving that detailed feedback allows you to communicate with them what it is that you're actually expecting for the manufacturing run. And that manufacturing run can really vary. Some suppliers can give you anything between 50 to 100 units. Others will require 1,000, some 10,000 plus, depending on the product that you're making. So it's super important that you guys are crossing your T's and dotting your I's in order for you to really get the order in right and correctly. And even after that's done, one of the main things that you're going to want to look into is how you're going to ship that mass quantity, that bulk production to your country or to your address, to your warehouse or wherever it is you're going to be sending it to. And what this means is that you're going to be looking into shipping terms. Now every company has different shipping terms that they're going to have available for you to do business with them. Now the preferred method of payment that you're going to want to do is called DDP pricing or it's called delivered duty payment. Now what this means is that the supplier is essentially going to be giving you a quote for all of the production plus the shipping and taxes to get it into your country and to your address. Now this is the simplest and most straightforward way for you guys to get your hands on any product. So always look for suppliers and ask for suppliers to be able to bill you on a DDP pricing. Now, when it comes to a lot of suppliers, they may not have this option available, and it's because they don't have the logistics necessary to handle that export to your specific country. There's too many unknowns and variables. So oftentimes what you're going to encounter is called FOB pricing, and this is known as free on board. Now, what this means is that the supplier will essentially deliver your products to a location. And then from there, it's up to you to ship it to your country or to wherever it is. Whether you're gonna be sending it through the air or whether you're gonna send it through boat, freight on board means that they're pricing it all the way to when it gets ready to be delivered to you. Now this means that the ownership of that materials gets delivered to you once it hits that shipping carrier. So now anything that happens between the shipping and you is gonna be on the shipping carrier or the insurance policies that you have in place. Now this is what's really cool about Alibaba.com is that they also have logistical partners that you guys can select. So if a manufacturer isn't able to bring your product all the way to you, you can essentially select services available through Alibaba.com's website that allow you to bring your product in through a vessel or like a ship or a container or also bring it in through air depending on your order volume and the time that you need it in it might make more sense to bring it through air but if you know that hey i don't need to have this until a few months from now then you could send it in through ship and it'll get delivered to you at a more economical shipping price now if all of this sounds a little too complicated or maybe it seems that you're not at the point where you're ready to be purchasing thousands of dollars worth of products through this platform a really cool feature that alibaba.com recently rolled out out is called a drop shipping service. Let's say the example that we have with the cargo pants. You can essentially search through the drop shipping portal if suppliers are available to essentially ship the products that they create directly to your customers. And what this means is that you can essentially set the price points for those products that you're sourcing for and the supplier will charge you their fixed manufacturing as well as shipping fee, and then you get to keep the difference of that as profit. It's really cool and super easy to set up, and how you do that is just connect your e-commerce platform, whatever your preferred one may be. From there, you import all the product information, and then you publish it, and now you can sell it directly to your market, and you don't have to touch any inventory. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that these three lessons will help you source and better position yourself for success on the Alibaba.com platform. If you guys are a new visitor to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on those post notification bells to be alerted of future video drops right now i want you to leave a comment down below with a product that you're looking to create in the near future huge shout outs to alibaba.com for sponsoring this video they're helping us bring our vision to fruition and that is to help bring clarity to business and help entrepreneurs like yourself build brands that impact the world from the ground up and they're doing this by helping you spend less and sell more 
because that's doing business with Alibaba.com. See you guys on the next one.